Hello viewers, good morning. Welcome to our channel Upper Public School. Please like, share and subscribe. So, I am Ajay Dath with today's biology class. Biology class, we are going to deal with a new concept that is transportation or circulation. Now, let us first know about the definition of transportation. Transportation means the transfer of various essential and non-essential components within a body. Within a body is known as transportation and as we are all highly evolved complex organisms, we do require various essential and non is we need we do require uh, require a specific system for transportation of various essential and non essential components within our body and therefore we animals have the circulation or the circulatory system to carry out this vital process of transportation circulation circulation stands for the process of transporting various essential materials throughout the body. The process of transport of various essential materials throughout the body. May it be the oxygen, may it be the nutrients, may it be the um, enzymes, may it be the medicines, may it be the hormones. So all these things are essential and therefore they need to be transported throughout the body and this is carried out by the circulatory system of our body. Not only essential materials but the metabolic waste which are also generated in the body are to be shunted out that is they need to be uh, sent to a particular system for elimination and that process is also done by the circulatory system of our body. So significance of circulatory system. So we eat food and in our GI tract that is in our digestive system we digest the food and absorption of the nutrients takes place. So that nutrients must be converted into energy and this takes place in the cell. So the nutrients which we have extracted from the food must reach to each and that is reaching through the circulatory system that is reaching through the circulatory system and for energy synthesis that is conversion of nutrients into energy or for energy generation we do require one more important component that is oxygen and that oxygen is also supplied through the circulatory system. So this is the significance of circulatory system and now we shall deal with the different components of circulatory system. So the different components of circulatory system are First one the first and foremost component of the circulatory system is the medium. Medium for circulation. Then the second one is the blood vessels. Third one is the pumping organ so the need circulation then the vessels involved in circulation and a pumping organ in circulation so we we'll understand what are all the further components of these three important parts of circulatory system the first that is medium so we are having various mediums for circulation like we are having the blood the 
the tissue fluid the tissue fluid we have then we are having the lips so these three are the important mediums through which circulation process is carried out then after that we are having the blood vessels so under blood vessels we are having arteries veins and capillaries so these are the three important components of the blood vessels then we are having one pumping organ that is heart so the medium the blood vessels and the pumping organ together makes a circulatory system complete makes a circulatory system complete our well developed circulatory system so the medium blood so where is this blood found this blood is found in specific channels called as the blood vessels that is arteries and veins and where is this tissue fluid found this tissue fluid is found between the spaces suppose this is a group of cell that is making a tissue and in this a group of cell so there is ics that is intercellular space and in this intercellular space it is filled with a kind of fluid and that fluid is nothing but the tissue fluid so what is the component of tissue fluid the plasma the liquid plasma of the blood is itself a tissue fluid and that is well, the lymph is also a type of tissue fluid and where is this lymph found so lymph is found in a nodes of the body that is in lymph nodes or lymph organs uh, like it may be the spleen it is called as graveyard of rbc so in spleen lymph will be available that is one of the lymph organ lymph node so uh, one more is the tonsils in the throat region you have your tonsils there are also the the lymph organs there are also the lymph organs and there we have this lymph this is a straw color fluid okay so these are this is about the medium this is about the medium of circulatory system then coming to blood vessels coming to the blood vessels that is of circulatory system it having arteries veins and capillaries you already know about artery that it is it is the one which is carrying oxygenated blood from heart to various parts of the body then veins are carrying the deoxygenated blood that is from various parts of the body to the heart then capillaries respective uh, uh, arteries have their own capillaries and veins also have their own capillaries the role of capillaries is to reach each and every cell of our body so this is about artery vein and capillaries and at the end of this class we are also going to discuss about the differences between artery and veins then the last now we have finished the blood vessels the next one is the pumping organ the next one is the pumping organ and you already know the heart heart is the pumping organ of our body so most of the people confuse between the function of lungs heart and kidney so uh, to be very uh, specific their entirely their function is entirely different that is the lungs which are helping in oxygenation that is they are the one which are going to add oxygen to the blood and take away carbon dioxide from the blood that is addition of oxygen and elimination of carbon dioxide is the only function of the lungs then coming to heart